Hi quilting friends, it's Carolina from alwayseexpectmore.com and I'm here to share a new ruler of the month with you. I'm so excited for this ruler and this pattern and I can't wait to share you how simple it is to use. This month's ruler is the Straight Outta Line Ruler. It is by Creative Grids and it makes really fun four patches. We all know the four patch is a super simple unit for making quilts and this makes those four patches intentionally and perfectly wonky to make great blocks. You can see right here different blocks that can be made with it and we're making this version that looks like little kites so I suppose and we've got a negative version and a positive version of each. So that is super fun. And we're making these with the straight out of line ruler. We are also using my spot on dots. That is the notion that I invented for Gypsy Quilter. You can ask your local quilt shop if they will carry the spot on dot. And what they are is these are magnifying lenses that you can put on any ruler to be able to see perfectly exactly where you need to measure. So your cuts are perfect every time. And if you stay through till the end of this video, I'm actually sharing a little bonus with you. This isn't a necessary, like required ruler to be able to make this block or to make this quilt, but this is the stripology ruler, which you may be familiar with for cutting strips. This is the stripology squared mini, and it's not just perfect for cutting strips, it's great for squaring up your blocks. So I'm gonna show you how to square up these straight out of line blocks using the stripology squared mini ruler. You ready? Well, let's get started. Today I'm gonna to show you the Straight Outta Line Ruler by Creative Grids. Now if you didn't know, Creative Grids rulers come with a QR code, and if you just grab your phone and go to take a picture of this QR code, your phone will automatically recognize it and ask if you want to head over to that site. You can always see videos on any of your Creative Grids rulers using that QR code. Today I'm making a block like this one on our Straight Outta Line Ruler. I'm gonna show you the way that I do it because it is a little bit different than this video. I'm gonna start off with six inch squares of fabric. Now you can do four inch all the way up to 10 inch in half inch increments on this ruler. So there's lots of different size options. I'm gonna take my two pieces and I'm gonna line them up because they're the exact same size and it just is easier to cut them both at the same time. And I'm going to line this up with the six inch markings on my ruler. Now I wanna make sure that I've got those on right. So I'm gonna grab my spot on dot and put those in place so that I can double check and see magnified what's going on there. I'm happy with the way I've lined everything up. I'm going to go ahead and cut. So now I've cut my pieces in half and yes, they are exactly in half. It's not a straight half. It's not a rectangle half. It's a half like this, and you see that they're the exact same size. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these to my sewing machine, and I'm going to stitch together two different colors like this to make a unit that looks like this. And when you do that, what you wanna do is you don't wanna line up your point up here because, and your point down here, because with your quarter inch seam allowance, things will be offset. So you actually want everything to line up where your quarter inch starts. So where your quarter inch starts, that's where these two fabrics should cross. And then you'll have blocks that open perfectly, just like this. So once you have your blocks that are open, and I press these open, here's where what I do differs a little bit from what they show on the Creative Grid, grid site. On the Creative Grid site, they say if you want to make these fun kite shapes in your blocks that you actually flip your ruler over. Now, if you flip your ruler over, what happens is that the lines are on the other side of the template and you can't see through them the same way. It's easy to be off a little bit, especially like three or four threads even. So I'm actually flipping my block over instead of flipping my ruler over. And now I'm going to, again, line up with this six inch line, but there's a white line right along here, and I'm going to line that one up with my seam allowance, or with my seam right there. So I've got my edges lined up, I've got my line lined up, and then I'm cutting like this. I've done this with one, and if you look, I can't flip or 
what not these, I need to do with a second one. So each set of two squares will end up making two blocks. Make sure everything's lined up. Oh, got it lined up with a five inch. I want to make sure I line it up with a six inch. There we go. So now I've got two halves of each that look exactly the same, and the identical halves will get paired together to make these two kite shapes. And these two kite shapes. And what that actually gives me is it gives me a negative and a positive block. So one is the negative of the other. Which is to say, where this one has white, this one has green, where this one has white, this one has green. And you go ahead and press your seams open just like you did before. And this is what those blocks look like when they're all stitched together. Just like that. And now you can make all kinds of fun designs with these blocks making many, many more. You can make them in all different kinds of colors and designs and patterns. And I've done these all with Art Gallery Solids and Art Gallery Playroom Fabrics by Mr. Domestic to make these blocks. Now one more thing before you go, you'll see that these are off a little bit. You want to square them down. You start with a six inch unit, you're going to end up squaring it down to five inches. And I thought I'd show you a different fun bonus ruler today in today, today's ruler of the month quilt. And that is the Stripology Squared Mini Ruler. Now this, if you've ever seen a Stripology ruler, you probably know it's great for cutting strips. And it is. And I encourage you to use the QR code on the packaging or just Google or go to YouTube and type in Stripology Squared Ruler and you'll get videos that show you how to use the whole thing. But I want to show you how you can use the Stripology ruler for squaring up. Now I know I want to square up to five inches. So I've got my five inch here and I've got my black diagonal on my five and I've got my diagonal here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my spot on dot because the spot on dot is adhesive and not suction based. It'll stick right to here so I can see my center. going to check that center line. I'm going to square everything up. There we go. So I've got my center and for this block, these two points will actually be right here. And I'm going to cut on my five. I'm going to cut on my zero. I'm going to lift up and flip. And now I can do the exact same thing, cutting on my five and my zero again. And just like that, I've squared off my block. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so those are super simple to make and so much fun, right? Well, here's a little preview of the quilt that I made using those blocks. This pattern is the ruler of the month pattern. If you're new around here, let me explain to you how that works. There is a link right here that will take you to the ruler of the month. If it is the current month, then that pattern is free. Every month there is a ruler of the month pattern that is free and that stays free until the next ruler of the month pattern comes out. And at that point, the past pattern goes into my pattern shop and you can find those links down in the description box below. So you can find all of my patterns in my shop, but the ruler of the month pattern is free for that first month. So go ahead and head over to that link now, pop in your email address and I'll email you the link to be able to download that pattern while it's still free. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I've got so many fun and awesome projects coming your way and I don't want you to miss it. So subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified right when a new video comes out. 
Thanks so much for watching. I love having y'all here and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye friends.